What's cracking, Jump Nation family? Just going for a quick jog. <laughs> what a shit joke. No, I'm not going for a jog. Um, listen, guys, welcome to the vlog. Uh, it's been a week since we last touched base. Yesterday, I pushed out another tutorial video in my new studio, kind of setting up the lighting. Uh, and you would have known that I've been trying to kind of create a new dimension of videos. So then we have the Jump Rope Labs, we have the vlogs, we have the tutorials just here and yeah just the day in the life lifestyle sort of stuff so i'm trying to mix it up for everyone anyway it's been a week and i just want to say a massive thank you for a couple of things first was the feedback of the video that i kind of talked about my injury my two my double hip operations um and the comeback listen guys the comments the feedback it was just phenomenal and i keep i feel like i'm always just saying thanks to you guys but this was just incredible like everyone who got involved and commented and let me know that they're behind me and they support me oh my god this it just reminds me why i started this and why i am so inspired because i've got people like you that i just don't want to let down and you guys motivate me so thank you again for that then the saturday the following day we launched the rush mat which flipping out this launch was incredible it was our record breaking launch our biggest launch to date and like it surpassed all my expectations to the point where I was struggling to get through the orders. Um, me and Gigi were like, literally were dying. And I've been itching for today. So this is Saturday, it is fight day, Joshua. Um, yeah, it's got a couple of friends coming over. I'm gonna go to the shops in a bit, get some drinks, get some food, um, and it's gonna be fun. Anyway, like that's my intro. And uh, as always, I'm gonna see you in the next clip. Stay tuned, sit back, relax. Hopefully you can find some value and some entertainment as always. So. Listen, I love you all. I'm gonna see you in the next clip. Right, so gonna quickly jump into the gym. I always like giving you guys a glimpse of what the gym is looking like. So here we are. Right, so Gigi's office space is looking nice and neat, which is good. She likes to keep it nice and neat. And then here, look at this. This is, this is the fallout of the mat launch. Um, let me quickly show you. So all these boxes here are full of mats still. There's six mats per box. And then here are all the mats that we got through during the launch. So just to put into perspective, guys, we sold over 150 kilograms, ki I wanna say kilograms, kilograms of rubber of this bad boy right here. So this is like, look how fresh this mat is. The mat that I've been using isn't this fresh because I use it so much that it's just got a bit dirty. So outfit of the day, outfit of the day, pretty exciting stuff. What you are looking at here is the first concept, the first prototype of the new Rush Jogger. Um, these are just so comfortable, bloody hell, like you guys, I'm trying to get you some of the best stuff out there and I can't believe just how comfortable this is. You guys have seen me do my skipping in my pajamas, for example, and I used to always say to you, I just love being comfortable. These feel so just smooth, so soft on the skin. They've got that stretchy material. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna need to build up some calves to make this worthwhile and actually model these properly. But what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna taper it up a little bit higher. So what I've done is I've given them new measurements to bring it up a little bit because I like to show a little bit more ankles. And then I'm also going to move this logo across here. So a little bit more in front. So as you're standing, you'll see the logo here rather than on the side. So that's a little change I've made. And then also on the back, on the back pocket, we're gonna have some more kind of branding here, sort of nice and neat. It's got a little tiny pocket, but these are so comfortable, flipping out like just nice. Literally guys, I'm gonna be making some of the best gear out there, some of the best cardio gear out there. Uh, and it's gonna be super comfortable, super stylish. And I feel like you can wear these as lifestyle as well. So we're aiming for a kind of lifestyle hybrid feel like we do with all our clothing. Then we've of course got the legacy hoodie, which I always rock on the weekends, just my go-to hoodie and the Carrera sunglasses. Last but not least, we've got the Nike Flyknit 3.0s with the matching legacy rope, which incidentally is out in a roughly a one month's time. One month legacy heavy rope. Oh mate, there's so much going on. Like this place used to be so clean. Weather is absolutely beautiful today. I haven't even mentioned it. Sun is shining, nice and fresh. The last few days actually have been raining here in London. Like literally every day is Easter weekend, bank holiday weekend. Oh, open. Gigi's rocking her fly knits with some jokes, white Michael Jackson socks. <laughs> <laughs> Looking stylish. 
Oosh. Let's go pick up some drinks from the shop and some snacks for tonight. Got a couple of friends coming over. <laughs> two, two friends. Two friends. I think got two friends. So what we got so far? That's how we feed our guests with potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're looking. Why are we in the bread section? We're gonna make this some toast. Anyone eating this biscuit right now? Comment down below. Tell me you're enjoying this choco. Choco. <laughs> choco Lebitznitz. Liebnitz. Whoever created this biscuit is an absolute don. Healthy. It's only been 10 minutes. I was talking to you about how nice the weather was. It was all sunny, it was all bright. This is how quick it can change in London. Like England is just literally 10 minutes. Pizza is my favourite meal. My favourite my favorite food. I'm not really much of a foodie. Like it's so easy to please me. So I'm not really one of those types that goes out and tries and finds the most like luxurious food or the most like just gourmet dishes out there so restaurante are doing a good job for me because they're cheap they taste good and you put a bit of chili sauce on it and it's just beautiful do you want me to help you well yeah <laughs> so today i've got to do some admin on my excel what is it excel london exhibition and you're not going to believe here's the price 33 pounds just to get internet for the day and I need internet and look at some of these prices to get hotspot and all this kind of crap 800 500 200 pounds 300 pounds basically you know what I'm gonna take you through the breakdown of the cost of the exhibition that's what I'm gonna do right now then my chance to use my whiteboard so I'm excited about that oh my days got myself some little markers these are quite nice this little razor thing's pretty cool, look, sticks to the board. Okay, so I've just realized after drawing this up that it looks kind of poor on camera. You might not even be able to read this, but we're gonna go with it and we're gonna make it happen. So I wanna show you the total cost of what I'm spending at this exhibition. So Elevate, May 9th and 10th, uh, it's at London Excel. And this is the whole breakdown of what I'm paying and the kind of extras and everything else. So we're gonna go through it uh, kind of point by point. So just to hire the booth, our booth is three by two meters, which is six meters squared, which is the most smallest booth you can get. There are options to have no booth, which is we just have an open plan, but that doesn't really suit us because we've got kind of like products and we've got other things happening. So this is the smallest booth you can get. And that comes to, if you can see, 1,350 pounds. So that's about, I'd say $1,700 right now with the rate. Um, and it was actually a discounted rate because we're, we're being considered as a new innovator in the kind of fitness market and um, they gave us a kind of special discount and the, th the thing is to actually even get this space at this event this is one of the biggest events in the UK for fitness cardio and fitness you have to actually apply and give them reasoning if you're not a kind of mainstream kind of brand so I had to give like a spiel about what my business is what my idea is what my kind of vision is and I had to actually be accepted into this um, space and to be offered this space I had to prove to be a kind of legitimate business with a legitimate idea you can't just kind of go in there willy-nilly if you've got like a kind of Instagram account and that's just kind of your idea anyway that said that's £1,350 for that booth space the next thing you have to buy is graphics um, you know I mean you don't have to buy it. you can have a plain shell scheme which is just all grey and it's just kind of just panels but I want to get a graphic on the wall sort of like a picture of the rope or myself um, some kind of visuals of the logo um, these are super expensive as well to be honest and the cost of that graphic so it's the one back wall um, and also a floor standing banner that comes to 905 pounds which is just incredible but it's something I can actually take away and reuse at a later date but it's a really big wall it's like like I think it's like three meters tall and two yeah two meters across um, so it's a really big visual graphic which I can use and take take away and yeah 900 pounds is crazy money though to be honest with you i couldn't find anything cheaper on the market i uh, went to friends who had kind of graphics and printing shops and things like that and that was the cheapest we could get um furniture don't know if you can read that that says furniture furniture we're going to bring our own stuff tables chairs but what i mean by the furniture is that we're going to get branded so we're going to get a branded tablecloth 
So when you first come into the booth, you're gonna basically see a nice kind of cool table with the, with the cloth that hangs over it, with the logo, with the slogan, whatever it may be. Um, and that's gonna cost us 50 pounds. Um, visual, so visual and TV. So I really wanna have a TV, a floor standing TV, nice 40 inch, I think it's 40 inch or maybe even 50 inch. Um, but that costs 300 pounds to hire that LED flat screen. Um, yeah, one of the usual kind of TVs right now. But 300 pounds just to hire that. And we definitely need a TV because um, it's going to obviously allow us to show the YouTube videos, a kind of edit a clip. Um, and we're more about the visual side of business. We don't just have kind of like a big machine weight or some sort of, uh, I don't know. You need to see it on screen to really understand what I'm doing and what this channel is all about and what the movement is all about. Um, and the rope in action so we need the TV and the cheapest again I could find was 300 pounds to hire this TV so if someone comes in they set it all up and I should have mentioned this so there's contractors at the exhibition to come in and set all this all up the graphics the booth um, and yeah the TV lastly is extras extras 33 pounds so that's things like Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi comes in at 33 pounds so that's why I put 33 pound there because I don't want to spend more than that and there are so many other things that you can add to your booth. You can add sort of water dispensers, uh, you can add lighting, flooring, get new carpeting. Just, there's so many things you could do with um, your booth that just make it look so kitted out and so epic. But we went against that and we're just gonna keep it nice, uh, simple, just slick, um, just everything about what our brand is all about. Just keep it nice and neat. And the total cost of that comes to 2,638 pounds. So you're looking at about over just over $3,000. So this is no cheap, uh, cheap thing guys. This is a real investment. And the reason why I put this in green and not red is to remind me that this is an investment into the future. I'm not going in there with the idea that, you know, I'm gonna go back and make this two and a half K back on that day or the two days of the event. I, I, I honestly just believe that it's just gonna be something for me for the future to know that I went in and I just went big. I, I did as much as I could to invest in the brand, to, to make the brand as big and as just yeah just get it out there and I think just recording on the day meeting cool people talking to businesses talking to just networking I think the value of that is you just I mean it could it could be less than this it could be more than this who knows but the point is is that I I feel like this is the right step for me um, I don't think I'll be doing this every year to be honest with you but it's just something that I can get on camera I can live it I can document it just meet cool people meet people like yourselves there's been so many of you guys who've been emailing me and they want to get those tickets um, so thank you so much for that. Don't forget, if you do want to come down to Elevate, if you're in the London area especially, just email me right now, info at rushathletics.co.uk and just in your subject, just put, just put Elevate Invite. So in your subject, Elevate Invite, send me your address and I will get you the, the free ticket um, for you and a friend maybe. But yeah, this is a massive investment, of course, it's a lot of money and um, I don't see it as a risk. The only thing, I only see upside from this, I only see just good and, and positive things to come out of it and I'm hoping to meet just cool people and uh, yeah just take the brand to that next level to say that you know we're more official we're more just have that uh, stamp of approval that we're a, we're a proper brand now that we've done exhibitions we we're not just a kind of social media outfit we're, we're, we're proper so yeah I hope that gives you some sort of insight sorry that the board didn't come out as uh, I planned in my head I probably could have just put these captions on the screen to be honest with you but I really wanted to use this, so. <laughs> okay, so that concludes that little portion of uh, our little business chat. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue with the vlog, so I'll see you in the next clip. Right, so Elevate is coming up. Keep talking about Elevate. I wanna document these two days coming up. So what I'm gonna say is I need to recruit someone. I need to recruit someone with some skills, um, someone who's looking to build their portfolio for their Instagram, for their YouTube, but they need to be a videographer, someone who has just got some sort of passion for vlogs, taking videos, editing, um, something epic. And I've uh, never done this before, so I'm gonna just test it out, see how it goes. But if you are a videographer or you have a friend, if you're watching this and you have a friend who is into videography, loves their camera work, loves recording, loves doing some serious stuff, um, and they wanna just follow me for a couple of days and just be a part of it all, um, edit the video up for me, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it all goes. Listen, get them to email me. Uh, at info at rushathletics.co.uk and in the subject title just put videographer um, that way I can make sure I can find it so videographer I'm looking for one guy one girl even who has some skills and just 
is enjoying this channel or knows of this channel or wants to improve their portfolio, we can collab and we can actually just make it happen and just create something epic. So I'm excited and I hope you are too. So get down to my email and get in touch. So thanks for that. I am now tasked with just cleaning this mess up here. Need to just clean it up, making sure that everyone can have a little comfortable spot to watch the fight. A lot of you have been asking about bags, about how to store your your skipping ropes, so your jump ropes, your resistant bands, anything. So I've now hooked up these cool little drawstring bags. Ugh. It's got Bay Run We Fly on one side and then it's got the logo on the other side. I wanted to quickly show you this. 11 foot speed ropes. These are difficult to find in the world guys, but we've got the best speed rope in the world. Got it in 11 foot. There's the proof. Let me show you guys my setup. We're using the Bose Solo 5 Bluetooth speakers. Quite a nice little kit here. His Sensei. It's actually put a decent brand. I picked this up for about £500 standard on Amazon. But when I first bought it, it looked massive in the box. But when I put it on this wall, it doesn't look so big. This is an absolute banger of a tune right now, guys. Have you guys, mate? I know you guys have heard this. The most catchiest tune right now on the internet. X by Nicky Jam, J Balvin. G, let's come on, let's make this now, babe. We might need that. We've had to bring in the reinforcements, the proper tools. Because this bad boy is taking a mick right now. Still waiting for the guests. But, got the hook up here, Sky's working, so that's job number one done. Just need to just fix this. I hate building stuff. <laughs> one hour in, got my uncle here. Big Joe. <laughs> We're still trying to fix this. And then they give us instructions in German, which doesn't help. Finally, after about an hour and a half, we have figured out how to create this monster of a table tennis table. And this is long. I didn't realize table tennis tables were this long from what I remember. But glad that's up. Now, just all about relaxing and enjoying the fight night. Rashman. Oh, mate. You Welcome. Know what? As soon as I stepped in, I saw this is the place where My all guy. these skipping mate. videos. Yeah, mate. This guy's this legend. This is the place. Say what's up to YouTube. Easy, man. How's it going? Oh, mate, I'm in the home of Rush, Rush Athletics. Good man. These two boys here, my lads from football. So, so the tennis, he's got the gym there at the back. He's got the business, he's got the jump pad there. Watch, now this was the equaliser. Watch it. Watch this goal. Shut up. Boom. Wild. <laughs> Wild. What makes you think you can try that? Garlic bread. Wedges. Then the good stuff. This is about to go down. What's the prediction, lads? Get this live on on the YouTube right now. Six to eight. Rashman, Rashman saying six. To, six. You got to name something. Knockout. Okay. Yeah, so three to ten. <laughs> One to twelve. One to twelve. Someone. Who are going to lose or draw? I'm going to be going to lose or draw. Boys, I'm out. Peace. Good seeing you, man. What a fight. AJ. Peace. Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Drive safe, mate. Yeah, the fight was pretty decent. Wanted to see a knockout. AJ done the job, done the business, got all the belts, and now he's ready for Wilder. <laughs> Killing Gigi right now. Taking tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping on the thing <laughs> We're gonna call it a day tonight. It's kind of late, and I need to get back to a few emails, a few messages. So much to do. Say good night, Gigi. Good night. Good night, guys.
What's up YouTube family, The Jump Rope Coach here. Just want to say a massive thanks for helping me build this community with you all. You guys are absolutely incredible. Your support is my oxygen. And all I want to do is create more and more value for you all. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be up to date with all the latest tutorials and workouts coming your way. So without further ado guys, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe, peace.